Um, no, uh, we're starting back at Gobi's Valley, and I promise I will try my hardest to not rage quit or lose in general this game. I have made a big change as opposed to my last upload. I, <laughs> I had the big everything, and I've kind of made things a little bit more proportionate for what they really should be. I think, honestly, if, if Kazooie was going to be carrying Banjo around, this was what she honestly should look like. So, I am not, you know, I don't feel bad at all about mucking up the game. The bad part about that is actually this game, um, that, you know, little mini game or this little alteration only lasts as long as I play this session. So as soon as I turn off the game, I have to do all those bottles, things all over again, I think. I believe I'd have to do them all over again. So I think what I'm going to do is focus on getting on the jiggies here first, and then I'm going to try to work on getting uh, all the uh, notes because I notice that I have problems <laughs> with trying to get them. Because we have all this sand that looks like honey. And I say that as I'm collecting notes now. But you know. So I'm trying to remember what I went through last time. And the funny part was, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Before it goes unnoticed or before someone starts putting in the comments to make fun of me. You know, I realize the stupid ass witch switch that I worked on last time. That I lost on. I know that it was the direct result of unneeded, um, unnecessary death because, yes, I realize uh, I already had gotten that Jiggy through that glitch earlier. And because it's so new to me, I kind of just, I never even at once did I even, like, think, oh, well, I don't need this anymore, you know? <laughs> Stupid. Yes, I am. So, yes. Fruitless, I don't know. But I learn. You know, live and learn, and then you get loves. So let's see what's in here. It's been a while. I, I don't remember what was in here. Okay. Okay. Well, I might as well get the... Yeah, I might as well get those while I'm in it. I swear to God, if this happens... Oh shit, am I doing it again? Oh no, not this again. No! Not this again. The curse of the sandy butt! I swear to god. Oh, I got it this time. You sure about that, Ben? You sure about that? Uh, I guess I had to go in here eventually. But I had to get the notes. I just really hope I didn't miss any at the beginning there. But I don't have any uh, jiggies to get in here because I already got them. So it's actually a good thing I did go in here first before I did fail and fuck up again. And I don't have to get the damn witch switch. God. Nothing says I'm stupid like doing something you don't need to do. I got the little bird! It's a little bird! Again, joining me is my friend the... Uh, uh, I like. I feel like I should have a co-host named like you know Superboy eighty seven or something like that. Like, I, I was this like the reason. I, like, I'll I'll, I'll let you guys know where that came from. Actually, you know like, um, oh shit. I was watching actually a um, YouTube video by, and I really hope he doesn't ever come across this. I hope not because it's just a little a nerd. He does uh, walkthroughs of like PC games, simple PC games, right? And uh. This, this guy's name was um, George Q. Gregg, I think it was. It was like, he had a very definitive voice, I will say, though. Like, so, this guy was doing a walkthrough or just a let's play of this old school um, PC game I had in the, uh, back in the day. It was called Where in Time is Carmen San Diego. I know, kind of lame, but, I mean, it was just one of those things that, like, I played when I was, I used to borrow it from the library. And I wanted to see the gameplay of it again because I loved it when I was a kid. So I watched this one that seemed pretty harmless. And like I said, it was by this guy, George Q. Gregg, and he seemed like he knew what he was doing. So I, I watched his videos, and it was, what the fuck just happened? And so he, he gets on, and he goes, Welcome, everybody. My name is George Q. Gregg, and we're playing Greg Time is Cabin in San Diego. And I kid, I shit you not, that, that nasally voice, that, that definitive nerd voice, was exactly how he talked, and I mean it, like, he, um, 
Sorry, I had to check to make sure I didn't have to do any work. Um, and uh, he he it, it, like after like one half of the playthrough that he had um, going on, he brought his friend, and his friend was a the, the, like uh, kind of an opposite of uh, this Jake um uh, because. He actually had a very feminine voice, and he went by his screen name, which I guess I'm supposed to too, but my, I mean, if you guys haven't figured it out already, my name is Ben. It's not that hard, but this kid, he gets on, and he's like, this is George Q. Greg, and with me is my best friend, coming from uh, the other side of the World, craft, world of Warcraft world. And he goes on, he's like, hello, my name is Superboy87. And it was like, huh? <laughs> who are Who are you? And they, he would go on and do commentary with him, but like I couldn't get over how the contrast of the voice, like big daisy, I'm sick kind of voice with like effeminate weirdo kind of voice. I don't know. It, 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 I, it, maybe I'm weird, but oh shit, I'm not supposed to be going this way. Um, it was just funny though. Get the fuck. Yes, you're grabba. I get it. Okay, I don't... I might as well use this. Come on! But anyway, this is George Q. Greg, and I'm telling you have a good time. Uh, yeah. So, what we're gonna do next is we're actually gonna get some work done, because I've been just fucking around for the last 10 minutes or so. So, I don't know where I was when I got that actual uh, lunch pad, but I'm gonna go at it again. Oh, fuck! I mean, uh, oh shoot, mother might hear me. I'm in the basement. Uh, Joyce Q. Greg here, and, uh, uh, I guess while I'm here, I might as well do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, get Grandma's fucking thing here. Oh, why did you do that? Use the fucking beat bomb! Could you, oh, good God, I'm gonna, oh, I swear, oh, we don't know how you wanna. Okay, so... What I'm gonna do is fire an egg at this motherfucker and run away from him because I'm tough as shit. That's why I got dropped. Okay, so... Oh, I forgot there actually are two notes up there that I do have to get. Oh, good. I didn't know how to get those. Hell, there'd be hell to pay. Got it. I've been hell a thousand years, done mortal. <laughs> what a cloggy world. What a world. What a world. How would a little squirrel like you def destroy my beautiful clagginess? That's not very uh, appropriate. I know it's game you're referencing and I don't appreciate it. It's, it's something my mother would not approve of whatsoever. So I gotta figure out where I'm going here too, because there's a, actually uh, two things over here. So I got Gobi already, don't have to worry about him, but there is a bunch of notes. There is a little guy back here and I have to get him but there's also a switch oh I wonder if I can make it yes I did okay so this is what I wanted to do actually get this across my guy <laughs> uh, am I annoying you guys here with that <laughs> tough my channel my rules coming across here so there's a few notes I know I will forget up here so I should probably get them. I'm so scatterbrained with this level, but I just do not want to die. So the majority of my time is spent here trying to figure out what to do to beat the level. Um. Come on! Come on, motherfucker! Here we go. We'll have a good time to take out the rules for a bigger weekend and come back for more. We'll have a good time to take out the rules for a bigger weekend and come back for more. I'm just sick of those guys. Is there any more? No, nope, that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take these out. No, I got them all. Okay, so. We'll have a good time to take out the rules. We take a weekend and come back for more. a good time. We take a weekend and come back for more. Nanners. I like.
like nanners. <laughs> like nanners. It's like nanners. You'll have a good time to take out a room. Take out a cat and you make some more. Was she over here? Yeah. I think he's over here. Damn it. Banjo. Yeah, I got it. Banjo's over here, I think. No? This is a note? Yes. For once, luck was in my favor. Must be here. Got him. And I'm assuming... I keep on going to that damn bird. He's got to be in the corner. Of course. Eggy Waggies and Steaky Wakey. Okay. Someone told me yesterday you go to Magna Mountain. They're riding the vapor in the bus. And I don't like your tone. We take a weekend. We take a we do. We take a weekend. We come back the more. I don't like the music anymore, so I'm making my own. I got eight on this level already? Jeez. What have I not done? I mean, I'm surprised that it's even that, though. I mean, I'm just saying. My own. I know there's one in that speed-timed level. Hello, my name is Superboy87, and I'm here to provide commentary. What you need to do next is actually get that little honeycomb piece because you have that extra health. I'm, like, I'm aware of that, Superboy. Um, I guess the easiest way to fly is to fall down. And I wish I had used that, actually. We're full of snakes, yes. Hot sand equals snakes that bite you, yes, because that makes sense. Oh, there's two I can get here. Okay, so I gotta... I forgot, I actually gotta get this too. While I'm at it. I might as well go, do it while I'm real close, like... Nope, that didn't work. As you can tell, I'm really accurate with this beak bomb. I think they made it better in... Uh, Tui, it was easier to control. <sighs> God, you follow so you fall so fast in this game. Finally, a hit. What am I supposed to do? Oh, get in there. Didn't I already do this, motherfucker? I thought so, but there are actually nuggies in here. Yeah, I have to get all these notes. I'm going to assume I got it already. I'm pretty sure that's the one that I did already, but I could be wrong. I mean, it only takes a few eggs. No, if it's not up there, it's not up there. Fuck it. I'm going to cut it right here, and I'm going to cut it again. Won't you please tell me where to find him? If I'm not mistaken, this actually has a Kazooie back entrance, and I was actually wondering about it last time, so I wanted to check that out before I did anything. No? Oh, I mean, that's where I came out of here. I don't know. But I'm not doing it. So, I'm actually going to get this one now. Before I kill myself to do anything else, i got to figure out where the entrance is. Oh, wait, there was something I was going to do, too, while I was flying. And I didn't end up doing it. I guess the whole reason why I said I was going to do that was so I could get that extra honeycomb piece. But what do I keep on doing, people? Ugh. I'm wasting my time and my energy doing that. Um, okay, so... And if I'm not mistaken, this thing is like the most like dangerous enemy in the entire game. We're talking, like, <laughs> taking away massive amounts of health when you don't want it to. Yeah, like that. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I can't do that. God dang it. Do I have some health left over on this thing here? I do, but I gotta go through bees. Ugh.
God, okay. This shouldn't be this hard to preserve your life in this damn... Oh, shit! No! One more hit from that thing and I'm dead. God. God, I'm going conservative here. Come on out, wherever you are. There you are. God, I get health and then I lose health. I get health and then I lose health. It's the story of my life here. You know, I honestly wish I had been drinking now because at least when I'm drinking, I usually end up doing better at shit. Not worse, like when I'm sober. Okay. Gonna kill you and I'll take your tits. Rip them off and throw you at. I'm gonna have a big fit. I don't want to eat your shit, but I'll make you spit. Right in your face and I'll slap you in the tit. Make you hate. I like this game, but I hate this song. And I don't know how. Um, try and try and try and... You know what? I don't give up. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna... No! 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 Don't write it! We're gonna do it again. We're doing it live. I'm taking this thing out. I'm getting this damn, this damn, um, you know, freaking cactus, cacti comb, cacti comb. I, I gotta get rid of this catacomb. Okay. Okay. Go for the doughboy. Go for the doughboy. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was gonna give me two hits. I hit that. Whenever I played it as a conservative, eh. so I know what I'm doing now. I'm gonna ignore these for now because I need them, or I I, I need to avoid them actually, so I can get up here and shave some time off on my um. Ah, oh, shit. Got it. Okay. <laughs> right at zero, too. I'm actually quite surprised I made that. I think it was really great. I thought it was really great because I did it within the time frame and constituents and constraints that I was supposed to do. Just like the game ordered. Yeah, baby. You can't complain either. And you might think that I'm drinking right now, but I honestly admit I am not. Oh, I should probably get this before anything Ben happens. It might be a little bit easier for me to collect stuff, huh? Oh, if that's how I'm supposed to get that damn little notes down there. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> First of all, fuck you. Hey! Who said you could go in front of my damn egg and not survive? I got 200 eggies. I can do what I want. Eat shit and die. No, they're all dead. You know what? You're all dead. Oh, I love the sight of you. Ah, uh, it's like they're having an organ. I'm like ah, uh, like ah. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's Superboy in mummy form. Ah. Uh. Ekum bokum. Okay. Having said that, better collect these down here while I can. I think there was a mumbo token down here. I could be wrong. Yep, there is. Yes. No mercy. You know my buddy, um, <laughs> funny anecdote from when we were younger. Uh, <laughs> uh, remember when there used to be this arcade that was in Port Sandalac, um, and it was very short-lived. I mean, oh good, and I know where the last Jinjo is, so I actually got almost all the, uh, Jiggies, awesome. But um, there was an arcade that was very short-lived in Port Sandlack, but it was like the greatest thing in the world for like a kid growing up, you know what I mean? Like, um, it was actually ran by a pretty young kid from my hometown, which wasn't my cottage town, you know what I mean? So it was really funny how we knew that a small town, whatever. But because of that, I was able to mess, like we were able to kind of like fuck around a little bit with the guy. Like, it was a type of situation where, like, this guy, you know, he owned, he, he didn't own it, but his dad did, and he operated it, he kind of, like, ran it daily, and, uh, we would always just mess with him and say, like, you know, like, we'd just, you know, show up there, and, you know, we were, like, 
12, 13 year old kids and we'd just be annoying running around on our scooters inside this restaurant, a place of business and an actual like, you know, bit like business. And he'd just be like, whatever, dude, you know, like, and, um, I, you know, like little things like that. We were playing video games and, you know, when he'd have downtime, he'd, you know, he'd sit down and he'd, he'd play uh, Metal Slug 2 with us too. But I remember like, we were talking about Weird Al one time and the, you know, guy was like, oh, Weird Al's the shit. And then, my, you know, my brother later on like pissed him off really bad or something. Said so, like, he's like, oh, I bet you've never had a girlfriend. And then the guy was like, you're a little shit. And then like my brother didn't, like we were still young. My brother didn't know the concept, the, the difference between being a shit. Like the, 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 the guy just stopped and looked at him. He's like, why do you think I like you? You know, I called you a little shit. And he's like, well, you said Weird Al is the shit. And he's like, no, no, Weird Al is the shit. You are a shit. There's a difference. <laughs> little stuff like that was just fun. But on top of it, um, we used to really just, we just, you know, say stupid stuff to him. We'd be like, I bet you couldn't, you know, like, I don't remember what we would even say to him that would piss him off so bad, but I just remember him just yelling at us, just like, shut up! And then he'd turn around and see someone eating pizza in the restaurant and be like, oh, how's your pizza? It's okay? It's good? It's good? <laughs> like, just bipolar, like, cook. Like, <laughs> I can't describe it other than just the pure stupidity. But, um... Okay, I gotta check my total on this. Do I have all 10? I, I don't think so. I have 9 out of 10. Okay, so I'm forgetting... Oh, oh shit! Well, I got the last one coming up. And the last few um, should be up here too. Within a, a good amount of time, I did it. I'd say, at least, unless you guys say otherwise. Oh, come on. Um... Yeah, I'm trying to save time here with this stupid ass. Um, remind me, I gotta get those next two. Gobi's edge. Eat come poke em, didn't work. My those itches. <laughs> How do you like that spin shot? I didn't even stop. Oh, that's better. I guess it only needs one. What is that snake? I hear a snake in the background. Dun, 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 dun. I'll take your tits. I'll rip them in a shit. I'll <laughs> wear, wear a funny hat and take it off. And I want to cook you coffee and make you pay and make you pay. And I don't know. I don't know. I wish I was better at improv, but I'm not. Uh, Jinx's nose is clear. Otherwise known as Raymond's brother from Everyone Loves Raymond. Okay, we got some notes. We got some notes. And I actually don't have to go all the way. I don't think. But I'm gonna kill this guy because I fucking hate him. You're dead, son. Yeah, no one likes you. Okay. Play that pipe all over and do the same tune all over again. Uh, yes, 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 yes. You know, I'm surprised that I'm so glad this has not come down to. There we go. Um. Finally. Raven. <laughs> Banjo Tui is gonna take me a lot longer. Gigantism! He's off the steroids, the juice of Lincoln Jewel Sun drive the sun dried tomatoes. Okay. It's slippy time. Ah, uh, slip it in his mouth. Slip it in his uh, I know what real kind of round objects he wants in his mouth. <laughs> Play that xylophone, that marimba. Uh, sexy, sexy. Okay, if I can't get in the first time, I'm not getting in the. I'm sorry, guys. Winnie, winnie, winnie on a bun, 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 and master two. Winnie, winnie, winnie on a bun, 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 and master two. A pickle. A dish of ketchup, a slice of onion, or maybe two. 
There we go. Done with that. Gadgetinks is two out of the way. But I'm still missing 13. So I'm no... Oh, wait. They actually might all be here. So I need these boots in the backs of Gypsy... G G G G G Gypsy. Gypsy Jinxy. Uh, like, let's get you straight. You are a Basset Hound, and that is it. Sneaky poop. Oh, Banjo. Thank you for giving me steroids. This is so much better. Oh my god. Oh, the warm water. Oh. Oh. Uh, what? I'm just gonna take a nap here for a second. Whatever. Walking around here. Oh no. You can't win. You can't win! Ah! Ah! Where is it? There it is. There we go. I want to go on this. How many am I at? 95? I think I got every bit of them. And I can finally wave this level goodbye with every ounce of breath in my body. I swear to God, Joel Austin would be proud of me right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha! Ah. woo -hey! You just destroyed yourself by jumping into a pit of snakes. Oh, I like it better. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Why aren't you running? That'd be funny if I died on this. I guess at this point it really wouldn't even matter. My happy face is turning into an unhappy face very quickly. Okay. I think I got... Did I get all the... However, did I... I got all the honeycomb pieces. Wow. I even surprise myself sometimes with my uh, efforts. I'm going to cut it right here and we'll jump into the next one. I don't know what you're doing, but it's fabulous. The rest of it. Come on. Come here, little bee. Help. Oh, shit. I'm down to two. Why am I floating? I think I was in between the level. Shit. Oh, fuck. I don't want to try for that. Well, I guess at this point it doesn't even matter. At least I'm past the level. Uh, oh, it's Super by 87. Got it. That's what I wanted. So. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anything here. I did. In fact, I did. Can't you get you any faster? Come and fight me. I'm a bastard. What are the, what? That's what these, this, what? That's where those were all this time? I didn't know that. <laughs> Literally every time I've had to cross to get to uh, that uh, level, I was just doing it the legit way. <laughs> so let's see. I don't remember what I had to do for this guy or for what's over here chicken and the cauldrons I haven't used the cauldrons yet I, even though I've activated them I haven't used them so I guess I'm going to the next part here and I'm still trying to figure out how to remove the spider web here I mean it's I'm totally lost but I'm sure that's something I can figure out over time I might as well get some of these I'm low on health anyway. Hey, where'd the other one go? There it is. So, you know, am I dumb for not knowing how to get that gone? I don't remember how it works, but... I'm debating whether I should try to attempt uh, Mad Monster Mansion without... Um, I guess I can go through here and see what's in here. I haven't been through here yet. Wait, if I'm not mistaken, there's a cauldron up... Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll go through here first and see what's in here. Rusty Bucket Bay. I'm not really prepared to go through here yet. Oh, shit. No. And I think there's a cauldron up here. But I still don't know how to get rid of these damn things. I mean, you don't just beak bomb them. I wonder if you get room with Mod, Mad, Mad Monster Mansion. I swear I've seen other people do it. From, uh... Yeah, yeah, we get it. I'm in it for the long haul. That's right. 
That's right. So yeah, because in order to do that, to get the jiggy from uh, Freeze Easy Peak, I actually have to get rid of these damn um, spider webs, and I don't know quite how to do that yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. Uh, don't worry, folks. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. Punkin. The punkin is kind of cute in this level. I'm not going to lie. I can do everything without him. Fuck you. It's coming up, too. And if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, it's a good thing I remembered to do that because I wouldn't have been able to get through there if I if I hadn't gotten rid of it as a pumpkin. Um, and you can't get through there as Banjo Kazooie. I've tried it. Trust me. I don't think I need this life, but I'm gonna get it. Uh, not high enough apparently. Well, fuck it. I don't think you can even fly in that level either. At all. That's why I don't like this level as much. But that's just me. Come on, chicken. What's over here? I don't think there's any secrets here, but this might be just a random... What is this? Oh, that might be where the... Uh... I'm not sure. I'm gonna take a second here. We're gonna go back a step too, because there's some stuff I missed before I go into. Uh, well, namely, I forgot to open up the damn uh, level. <laughs> so, I probably need to do that to make sure I can get in there. So, without further ado, this is Backtracking 101 with Ben. With ben. Ben Skatey 5. And this is. This is. And this is Superboy 87. So. <laughs> I really, I'll admit, I had to look this up. Really? I didn't know that you could just... Okay, I, I, I thought I tried everything, but thinking to myself, I didn't know that you could just fart eggs onto it and it kills it. Okay, but a beach... beach I, I don't know, I feel so stupid. I had to look it up. I, I can't believe that. I, I should feel stupid, though, shouldn't I? You know, I got tons of eggs, though, so I don't really care. So having said that, I'm going to get the jiggy that I left at Freeze Easy Peak here. And then I'll open up, open up the warp, warp cauldrons, and then I'll open up the um, level. Mad Monster Mansion, is it called? Yeah. So, that's what we're going to do. Come on, get your Kazooie on. Get your Kazooie on. I wonder if it's even faster to do this. I, like, I don't know if it's faster to actually slide like I do, but I feel like it does. Just because I like being... I feel like I'm playing Moonwalker with Michael Jackson. Such a random way to get a Jiggy here. A snow tunnel, you know? Come on. Because so. Oh, vendetta against the snowman. I'll admit, I did go a little crazy in that one episode on Freeze Easy Peak. <laughs> now she looks big enough to actually eat it. So, we're actually pretty far in this level, or in this game. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm kinda, I, I think it was really great. I was really hoping I could do that without having to die, but whatever. I'll take it. So, simple rule in life. Don't ever try to swipe down cobwebs. Use eggs. <laughs> Duh, everyone knows that shit. God dang. You like to see homos naked? You like to see eggs in a web? Play the banjo and look at me as I complain some more and I don't know where to go next but I open this I don't know I don't know 
Warp Cauldron one. Yes. Have I found two that actually make the same? No, I haven't. This sucks. I thought there was another spider web I'm missing here. There it is. I'm like, wait a minute. I know there's a cauldron I could use, actually. So, is this one finally activated? Where does this one take me? Um, you cheated a shortcut. Oh, created a shortcut. That's so random that cauldrons would be a big thing in Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Mad Monster Mansion. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. This is the Rusty, rusty Bucket Bay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go over here, jump to the left, go through the mean, angry tunnel, and, uh... Oh, I was uh, telling a story earlier, and I totally didn't finish it. So, this guy that used to own that, or he used to manage that restaurant around uh, Port Sanilac, where we used to, you know, um, have a cottage, or we still have a cottage, but um, we'd hang out there. And he had this crane game, and, and it just had these mini basketballs in it. You know, not a big deal. They just they were pretty easy to get, though. The crane game didn't cheat much, to be honest. It was one of the most fair crane games I've ever played in my entire life, if that's a real thing. So um, we would all get a little basketball out of these things, and um, he was ex this, this older guy was explaining to us how him and his buddy, you know, would collect a bunch out of there, and they would collect him, and then they would go in his basement and play dodgeball like full force, like, and <laughs> like with, and no bars hold. And the way he said it, he was like, he's like, yeah, me and my buddy, we collect these, we put these in my basement, we play dodgeball, full contact, no mercy. And so he, <laughs> he takes one of these basketballs we had on us at that moment, and he whipped it as hard as he could at the wall, and just nailed my buddy Nick as hard as he could in the ass, and. All I could hear, <laughs> Nick turned around just in time, was just like, Ew! <laughs> And the ball bounced off his ass like it should normally. It didn't hurt him that bad, but, you know, the guy felt immediately ashamed and felt bad. He was just like, how you doing, dude? Is it, are you okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? You want a pizza? And Nick was just kind of sitting there making these cow noises like, <laughs> And, uh, basically... He forgave him, but he wasn't happy. <laughs> he was like totally pissed off at him the whole day. It was funny though. All for the sake of laughs. It's funny to see people get nailed in dodgeball, you know? Even the coach we used to have, like, you know, in high school. Uh, coach Ryan, he actually used to get us, uh, like, he would join us for dodgeball, which was fun because he was always a bigger guy, but, you know, all the jocks always try to ki kick his ass, you know, try to challenge the alpha male and. It was funny, though. They, they would nail him every once in a while. He'd be out. He was a good sport, though. He definitely roided it up, though. I will say that. <laughs> and they say, if you want to help, you teach. If you can't teach, teach Jim. I don't specifically remember what's up there, but I believe that's something that's going to be solved when I get the level water level changed after this. So I'm going to head. I'm just heading back and collecting all the chickens. Just kidding, there's no chickens, but oh, not what I wanted to do going into a new level. So now that I've successfully cleaned up everything um, that I've seen so far, I'm. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm very satisfied with my results. Uh, <laughs> you remember that hair club for men commercial? It was like, man, what was that commercial? It wasn't hair club. It was like, <sighs> fudge. And you witnessed it here. Reporting live. This is stupidity. Bosley, Bosley Medical. You know, you have to burn a few ass hairs before you realize what it was actually for. So, yeah. Damn you, Kazooie. Where were you for that? Where was my camera angle at that? You know, like... Dint, 
Okay, so now we are finally embarking on the adventure that we call Mad Monster Mansion. And don't blame me for all the mishaps. I'm just, this is a let's play. Like I said, I never plan to be a genius, but I think before I do that, I'm going to cut this and...